Hello traders, today's top stories. Wall Street continued to climb yesterday as the Trump administration remained under fire from its opponents. It is Tuesday, May 16th, and here is our daily market review. U.S. equities rose yesterday as investors continued to incrementally add to their buying positions. The Empire State Manufacturing Index had a disappointing outcome with a minus 1.0 reading yesterday. Today, building permit statistics will come from the states. The political front in Washington continues to get plenty of attention as President Trump finds himself in a constant state of battle against opponents who seek to discredit his administration. Investors have seemingly remained positive regarding risk sentiment, but their long-term outlooks may start to erode if the media circus continues. Early trading in Asia has seen a return to form as the Nikkei and Topics indexes have resumed their positive movement. Though the gains have been modest, both Japanese equity exchanges have climbed more than 8% in the past month. The yen, however, has been range trading against the U.S. dollar early this week. The Shanghai Shenzhen Composite has been negative this morning. China will issue foreign direct investment numbers likely within the next day. The UK will release important consumer price index figures this morning. Tomorrow, average earnings index statistics will come from the UK, which will serve as a good counterweight to the CPI reading. Last week, the Bank of England warned British citizens they may see rising costs, but not enough wage growth. The pound has gained in value and is now languished in a tight range above the 1.29 support level. Growth numbers will come from the European Union this morning and should be monitored. European indexes put in slight gains yesterday. Crude oil has continued to find buyers and has risen above 49 US dollars a barrel. Speculators may be attracted to the commodity because of the renewed agreement between Russia and OPEC to extend production cutbacks. However, traders seeking short-term reversals need to be careful. Investors will look at the gross domestic product results from the European Union with interest at 9 GMT. Thank you for watching. Have a good trading day. We'll see you again soon.